Uh, my first season in NBL was fun, you know, very exciting. Uh, it was a COVID season, you know, to play the full season here in Australia, you know, get away from COVID. Uh, you know, they did a wonderful job. Um, a lot of other places, uh, different countries struggled, but uh, man, it was fun. It, it was ran smooth. I would love to, you know, see what it's like during a, a normal season, normal summertime here in Australia. My season was was amazing, you know, for a second year club, for us to make so much history, to be one game away from getting the championship series. Uh, it was just a super year for everybody on the team. So, you know, super year for, uh, for me and the boys. You know, to lose uh, 12 games, you know, to play a couple games where I actually wasn't, you know, in form, um, it, it just made it all that much better, you know, to see guys like Zay, uh, Creek, uh, you know, just the whole team, the staff, everybody step up, Kizza. Um, it was great for me to start strong, you know, finish strong, for us to play under stress, you know, get, get you know, kicked out of Victoria a couple times during the year. You know, everybody had their struggles, but, you know, just as a team, it was inspiring to go through and, like I said, to just, um, you know, play all the way to the end and uh, make the finals for the first time was a successful year for all of us. I think my, my, the best highlight was when I threw it off the glass to Yanni. Um, you know, him, just such a young player. We had just a, su such a young, fun, energetic team. You know, we was number one in a lot of categories, you know, shooting threes, uh, scoring. Like I said, with me, with inserting a lineup or not, you know, different lineups. Man, it was just so many plays and just so many moments, you know, playing in different gyms, you know, to finish the season playing in Sydney. The play with broke off uh, to be the Phoenix, um, the team that I was in college. Everything was just so special. I was able to make some threes, make some dunks, uh, throw some nice passes, uh, you know, just try to run the team. It was, it was fun for me, for, for coach and the team to just, you know, accept me and let me do my thing. Um, it was just amazing just to be in Australia, you know, to chill at the beaches. You know, most of the cities are on the coast. So to, um, you know, just explore, you know, get to Tasmania, like I said, to get uh, put out of Victoria two times out of the year. But, you know, for me, just to travel, to go to places that I wasn't able to go to, go to at first, you know, due to injury. It was just fun to just explore, you know, let the guys, you know, take me out. Everybody speak English here. This is one of the better countries, one of the better experiences for me. You know, the finals experience was, was amazing. Uh, I wish we would have been able to have some home games and, you know, play those at home and, you know, get in front of the heartland and bring it home. But, you know, that's what you play for, to play against United, to have a throwdown, to challenge them and, you know, try to come out on top and be the team of Melbourne to play for the grand final, to play, uh, you know, for the cup against Perth. Uh, when I came here, people just thought it was impossible for us. You know, didn't have us ranked, didn't have a lot of guys ranked. Um, so it was just amazing to be one of those top four teams, you know, be able to compete and just gain the respect, you know, such early on for this club. You know, that's kind of what I want to do. And that's like you said, we play with that passion, you know, led by the coaching staff and, um, you know, just want to keep it going on. It was amazing to be in the heartland, had some of the best fans, you know, some of the best basketball, like I said, I've ever seen, been around of, been a part of. And you could just see how the, the game is expanding and just getting better and better. You know, even with players playing in NBL one, um, how strong the NBL is, you know, LaMelo Ball, Rookie of the Year. Um, uh, to play the finals here in, in front of the Heartland for the first time is something that will be great for this club to look forward to. So uh, just basketball in the Heartland is uh, some of the best basketball, you know, in the world. So I was excited and, you know, blessed to be a part of it.